Proper pretreatment is a key part of every water treatment solution. This consists of a properly designed wash pad, pit system, and other equipment that will maximize the treatment efficiency of the overall water treatment system and simplify the required maintenance. With over 11,000 installations, Water Maze has the experience to make sure the pretreatment system will do the job and is designed properly. In order to design the proper pretreatment system, it is critical to know what type of equipment is to be cleaned, what the solids and oil loading will be, how much washing will be done each day, and will this water be discharged or recycled. Other important concerns are, is the wash pad covered? If not, rainwater will enter the system and needs to be treated. Maintenance of the pit system and wash pad in terms of cleanup frequency and the clean out tool. Will chemicals be used in the cleaning process? If large amounts of heavy solids will be present, like from the cleaning of track vehicles, it is key that the pretreatment wash pad be constructed to not only handle the solids loading, but make it easy to maintain. A wash pad designed with a drive in scoop out pit is recommended. The wash pad should be sloped to one corner with a 1% slope. This allows the wash pad itself to function as the key component of the overall system. Much of the heavy dirt washed from the heavy equipment will simply collect on the wash pad, thus allowing the dirt to be easily removed. A curb installed along the side of the drive-in pit directs the water to only enter into the shallow end of the pit, thus maximizing the solid separation characteristics of the wash pad system. As the water enters the drive-in pit, it is directed towards the deeper end and forced to navigate through a series of removable baffles. These baffles force the water to move over and under, thus allowing additional solids to settle to the bottom of the pit. The screens hold back any floating debris and only allow the water to travel forward. When maintenance is required on the pit, the baffles are simply removed and the front end loader simply drives into the pit and scoops out the heavy solids for removal. A solids dewatering area can be placed adjacent to the pad to further allow these solids to dewater prior to disposal. To combat odors and organic growth within the pit, a pit management system can be installed that will automatically aerate the water and inject microbes to break any oils and organics down into carbon dioxide and water. For easy removal of solids on the cleaning side, a water blaster is recommended. The water blaster uses high flow, 25 gallons per minute, and low pressure, 500 psi to quickly knock the dirt and debris off any piece of equipment. The water blaster simply reuses the wash water from the drive-in pit, which is pretreated by a cone bottom clarifier tank to remove heavy solids prior to washing. For applications with lighter solid loadings, such as over-the-road equipment or for a second stage wash system, a smaller trench drain is recommended. This trench drain is typically sloped from one end and may have small, uniquely designed baffles placed in the bottom to enhance solid separation and create a dry trench environment. A mesh screen may also be required to filter out fine solids and debris, depending on the application. A catch basin installed at the deep end of the trench drain allows the trench to dewater and thus minimizes the standing water within the trench system. Cleanout is easy, and a shovel can be used to remove the settled solids from the trench. If additional solids or oil separation is required, an in ground collection pit made of fiberglass can be installed. This fiberglass pit has three chambers separated by uniquely positioned baffles which require the water to flow over and under, thus enhancing both solids and oil water separation. 
An optional oil coalescing pack can be installed in the center chamber of the pit to enhance oil separation if required. The hinged aluminum cover allows for easy maintenance. To further treat the organics and reduce potential odors in the pit, a pit management system can be installed to automatically aerate the water and inject microbes to break down the organic constituents. In applications where in-ground pits cannot be used or for additional solids and oil separation, an above-ground clarifier is recommended. The Watermay CL30 clarifier uses a 600-gallon cone-bottom tank to effectively separate suspended solids from the wastewater. These solids are automatically purged to a solids dewatering system. For removal of free oils, the Watermay CL600 clarifier incorporates a series of coalescing cones within its 600-gallon tank to efficiently separate the oils from the water and automatically remove them via an oil skimmer. Pretreatment is a necessary and key part of any water treatment system. An efficient, well-planned design will reduce the required maintenance and greatly enhance the overall water quality of the water treatment system. We at WaterMaze thank you for your time. WaterMaze has the experience and know-how to design the proper and required pretreatment system for your water treatment needs. We at the Water Maze Factory and our certified local sales engineers look forward to partnering with you in finding a total solution for your specific water treatment application. Please let us know how we can help.